Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again on Fiora with uh, episode 2 of my playthrough. And I'm just looking out for carnivores. Which, honestly, I should be not having that out. It does take up quite a bit of the screen. So, I'm looking for anything that eats regular meat when I tame it, which is how immersive taming works, the whole taming thing. And I think... Yeah, I see bear... I mean, way out there. Uh, let's see if we can get across here. Up Here we go. Right about there. I just saw... Yep. There's Coelophysis right over there. Okay. So. Try and lob a shot over there at them. If they aggro on you, if like a predator... Oh, that is way too short. Okay. Whoop. It landed right there on that ridge. Uh, if a predator aggro's on you, it's too late. You cannot give them a bait after they've aggroed on you or anything else. They have to be pretty much, you know, idle for the uh, for the baits to work. Oh, that's way too short. Look at that. And the problem with the arrow baits is you can't pick them up if you flub it. Which that just fell to the bottom of that cliff there, so. Oop. I have no idea where that one went. Honestly, I prefer just to like bomb baits down from like on a cliffside or something. Speaking of which, there is a parasaur right there. I wonder if I could uh, grab one of these and do that. I haven't gotten a message yet that a seal of Pisces has taken my bait, but they could be, honestly, a little too far away for that. Hey, yep, see, he just smelled the bait, and he turned around. All right. Okay, cool. It's a level 204. Actually, that may last a little bit of time if I uh, do manage to uh, get this tamed up. So it's got blue smoke around it there. That means it's not going to attack me. Which in the case of the Parasaur is because, well, it's kind of a passive thing anyway. They're, they're not aggressive towards people. But as soon as a Predator gets to that point, then you can actually run up and take care of it. So, hey, how you doing? I could try to pet it now, but it's not, it still kind of sees me as a threat. So it's not going to be very happy with me if I do. So what I can do is just toss another one on the ground. And if it's already hungry, then, then it'll eat it right away. If it's not, then you have to wait for it to get hungry again. Parasaurs get hungry pretty quick, but now I can pet it. It says, no longer perceives me as a threat. That's, that's a good sign right there. It means I can actually walk up and I can give it a pet or whatever. And it just went poo. Very nice. Hit it again. Okay, cool. Now I can hand feed it. That happens at 35% tamed. Hand fed baits are 15% more effective than than dropped ones. So if you have the opportunity, definitely hand feed it. And you'll feed it whatever baits in your zero slot. There we go. And you may want to be cared for every now and then. Okay. That's something else you can do to, to kind of Bond a little more with your, your creature. There we go. And you just want to care, so I gave it to it. And then it plays the level up animation. Go ahead and feed it again. And that's the important thing. Once you get up to 75%, nearby creatures of the same species will no longer attack your tribe unless provoked. So if you're taming something in a pack, that's the way to do it. Now, the baits do expire after two minutes, so the stuff on the hill... It's gone. No more getting that back. Alright, here we go. Give it another bait. Give it a pet. And now it's tamed. Awesome. So, I need to learn a parasaddle now. Nine points. Sure, not a problem. I think I can work with that. And... I need fiber and wood. Okay. Yep. Well, that's definitely enough wood. And then there's some bushes up here I can pull. 
for fiber, which I can't remember how much it needed, but pretty sure it's more than 36. So let's go ahead and get some more pulled here. It is going to be nighttime. It's going to be my second night on this map, so. Not bad so far. I'm still kind of stoked over killing that alpha on basically the second day on the map, my first episode. And Parasaddle. go and you already leveled up a bit so here let's give you some azuls I guess and get you up to like 3,000 health that seems like a better number anyway but now I, I can do berry collection anyway which is honestly not as important with immersive taming I mean you still need berries but you don't need the obscene amounts of narco can you like thank you hit the spot those big clusters, they have like one tiny little hitbox in the middle that you have to hit for it to work. Also, I can get thatch now, which is not bad. All right. Kind of a downside is parasaurs can't jump. All right, now you, I don't want you to follow me around right now. And yeah, more health. Cool, level 309, not bad at all. And if you tame them, unless you screw up somehow or something attacks them while you're taming them or whatever, you tame them at exactly 100% of effectiveness. So, which is kind of a nice thing. And, oh yeah, sweet. Almost 12, or yeah, almost 1200 health on a dodo now. So we're doing fairly good. And here you can go ahead and get pet. Let's bring you around to the back side of the house. See if I can get that buff on you. Yep. So you'll gain extra experience now too from the, uh, from the Leicester while you're up here. All right. Okay, well, I'm just gonna let you cook so you make charcoal, I think, at this point. And let's uh, throw out this cloth armor. Put my brassiere back down. Do I get. I get an insulation buff next to this thing. And then the rendering's a bit off, though. That's kind of odd. It's a checkerboard pattern. But cool. Yeah. Insulation stats up. Awesome. That'll help. Uh, let's see. I can actually do one thing here. I can check this. Yep. I did not start taming any of those Coelophyses. Bit of a shame. I really do like them. They, they are amazing at killing things. They really are. It's great. All right. So Smithy, I can put away some of this stuff here. I'm just going to put everything into here, and then we'll we'll sort, right? Like, I don't need that. I will need those on me, though. And I'll say everything else can stay put for now. I really don't need to be carrying that stuff around with me. Oh, we get Northern Lights. Look at that. I don't know why I didn't bother, or why I didn't think that, hey, you know, that's going to be a given, but I do love the Aurora, so... Uh, let's see, let's go ahead and jack weight up some more here. And we're at level, what, 37 now? I could learn Chitin. What's the hypothermic on it? It's pretty... Actually, Chitin just has bad insulation, so I think we're going to skip that for now. Stone Cliff platform, that's going to require fungal wood. 800 of it. Could be kind of handy around here, though. Uh, what do we have access to for bridges, though? Uh, wood bridge, perfect. Can I make one of those? Probably not, but at least I can get an idea of how much I'm short on. Yeah, and we do have the bridges mod installed, which is where this comes from here. But I can make a bridge at least, and it's only 10 pounds. That's not bad. That's not really not bad at all. Okay. 
You guys already leveled up again. Not too shabby. All right. So here, do you have a bunch of stuff like a slingshot, which I'll never use. So don't know why I'm keeping that around. Main use for narcotics in this with uh, the immersive taming mod anyway. Oh yeah, I made myself a little a side table. Uh, main use for narcotics though is the different uh, brews and whatnot, brews and soups. Now, is there anything in here that I want to try making? Right now, probably not so much. I mean, I could make an ice block. Yeah, sure, why not? Big old block of ice, and it's got a frozen dodo inside. It's very, very shiny, too, I noticed. Very shiny. So let's get anything with a spoil timer in there. And... You've actually got quite a bit of stuff in you, too, don't you? You do. So let's check here. What do the berry bags need, exactly? I know it's not all of the berries, right? Amor, Azul, Mejo, and Tento. Okay, so the four four edible ones. So I don't need to worry about that. So I'll tell you what, we're just gonna pull everything pretty much out of here. Anything that can spoil can come with me. And it's all gonna go into here. And then I can actually just pull as need be and put into there. You, give me all this. What do I have the most of right now? Uh, either Azul or Amor Berries. Okay. Oh. And then the rest of this can go into there too. And Steampunk Bot Plant can just go out there for now. I'm so far away from being able to do anything with that. Alright, so there's a blue drop, red. Got some northern lights here. There's a Three purples over that direction. There's a yellow up there on top of the hill. Almost not terrible. I do need to get some sort of uh, like water storage or something up here though. I do have a, what's your melee percentage at? A 674. Not terrible. Here, let's stand over here. Yeah, that texture's all sorts of jacked up right now. I think I probably need to restart, really. But at least I have an insulation buff right here, so that definitely helps. And the sun is starting to come up already. I want to try to shoot a bridge from this side over to that over there. Just to make things a little bit safer for me to get from one side to the other. Although the other side did have the carnivores on it, so. But I also need to take, probably take my para out and actually do a little bit of exploring now. So, yeah, that's bright enough to see by. Okay. You know what? I'm just going to take the para out with me. See, yep, no, those are just decorative. They're not harvestable. Okay. I was curious. I thought I'd try with the Parasaur as well. Yeah, just keep head banging the ground. You'll be fine. I always do kind of feel bad about harvesting trees with a Parasaur because it's just slamming its head into it over and over again until a tree falls over. Can't be a great, you know, feeling for the Parasaur. All right. Son of a... Freaking raptor. And I accidentally placed the bridge too. Where? Oh, it fell off the edge. That's kind of funny. Can I get this bridge back now? Alright. Where is this raptor at? Yeah, 
I do more damage than you, dude. It's not going to end well for you. Actually taking some damage though, but that thing's looking pretty bloody, so. Wow, level 348. I would love to have tamed that actually. That would have been a pretty decent first combat tame. And the fact that raptors have like really crappy weight. Uh, well, I got almost 800,000 though. Or 800%, 800,000, yeah. Uh, yeah, but my, my para buddy is pretty banged up now. Alright, so let's try this again. Let's get the torch out. Hopefully that way it won't be as cold while I'm trying to get this thing set up. You know, the fact that it's raining is not helping matters any, although I could go ahead and fill my water skin up. Alright, so the bridge is most of the way across. Alright, yeah. This is where the fun part comes in, though. Right. All right. So, we're going to go for major adjustment, and we are going to go bigger. Hey, look, it crosses all the way across now. And it's wide enough, I can take my parasaur across it. Now, actually, that's about perfect. Uh, let's get back over here. Now, something else I could do, though, is... There we go. Just toggle it back over to minor, and we're going to rotate up a little bit. There we go. That's much better. And yeah, I know the, the the bridge is sunk into the ground still. But dinosaurs sometimes have a problem with the, the end of the bridge for whatever reason. They kind of bounce on it or whatever. Oh, that's probably a good size pack of coelopices. Yeah, we're not going over that way. I am detecting a, uh, an enemy down this way, though. Don't know what it is, though. But it's something that would attack a parasaur. So, I mean, it could be a dialo, for all I know. Yep, see, there we go. Sometimes glitch on the edge of the bridge. Which actually can be a defense mechanism, too. It'll keep... It'll uh, affect wild dinos the same way it affects your tamed ones. Yeah, I still have no idea what that is down there. And there's a blue drop coming down right next to my house. I'll take it. I mean, at this point, it's a blue drop. I mean, unless it's like a water jar blueprint, which I already learned the engram for, it's probably going to be something useful. There's something down here, too. Like down at the bottom of the cliff. So, what do we got? Oh, it's an Arizonosaurus. They give an insulation buff as well, but only when you're riding them. Not a bad thing, though. Uh, I think I can go ahead and run the saddle for that. Uh, okay, we got time. So, Arizona Source, yeah, it's a level 35. It requires 30 metal ingots to get the saddle for that, though. You ran out of wood. Hmm. I just want to keep this thing going full time. There we go. And we're still doing good on food, so I don't have to worry about that so much. Ice block here should have my... It's got my raw bait. Didn't I have some prime meat bait, too? I thought I made... I know I made more than four, right? Here's raw prime. Did I leave that in here? Yeah, I did. I left it in here. Okay. So let's go ahead and put that raw prime back into here then. And that stuff. Okay. So, 
Where are you at, Arizona Source? There you are. And Huck. Yeah, he started to focus on that before he even hit the ground. Level 204 is not bad. Now, max level is up to 360. You can see there, red smoke. That means it is not friendly towards me quite yet. So, I went ahead and threw another bait down. It lasts for two minutes. Odds are he's going to get hungry again before two minutes are up. Now, the main thing is, is he going to wander outside the his, quote, aggro range for the bait? And or get distracted by something else around there that he wants to eat. Oh, it is a menu. Look at that. That is cool. These are the drop pods. Runestone. Gigantic runestone. And it's a metal frame. Okay, they need some sort of breaking animation for that or something. Alright. Can now be hand fed and will not attack unless provoked. That's my cue to get down there. Uh, well, you're just above half. Okay, we're okay. Now, how am I going to get down there, though? Actually, I think I know how we're going to get down there. Here, go ahead and grab some stuff on the way down. Oh, I leveled up, too. Uh, yeah. More weight? Sure, why not? There is that other unknown carnivore that was just up here to the left, right? Yeah, it's still there. There's something in the water too, but I'm not too worried about that. Oh, it's detecting the Hesperornis over here. Look at that. Okay, that's funny. Did not know that a, uh, a Parasaur would consider a Hesperornis tiny little duck thing a threat, but it does. Okay, there's those two stuff in the water. There's something. Okay, cool. This stuff is all harvestable. That's just rocks. Okay. I'm not sure if it was rocks or a corpse floating in the water there. Well, it's rocks. They're not floating, obviously, but you know. Yeah, something small in the bushes. Not too worried about it. All right, Arizona source, we're coming for you. Full speed, if possible, but. There you are. See, he's got the blue smoke right now. Now, the longer you take to tame him, he could start losing taming percentage, or, well, progress. I think it's a he, right? Are you? Yep, you're male. All right, and he's actually taming relatively quick. Here, go ahead and get pet. Now the 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 petting and the uh, the care, which he's just asked for, rather aggressively, honestly. Uh, they don't really do a whole lot. Oh, he presented me with a gift, though. Hello, eighty keratin. I'll take that. Thank you much. And I guess while we're down here, okay, that's not something I can harvest, is it? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Oh, well, you're tamed. We're going to call you Tucson. Uh, not metal in those rocks, though. All right, well, Tucson, follow me. I've now got a bit of a bodyguard, which is awesome. But yeah, whenever you tame them, you get experience as if you had killed it. So, taming a high-level carnivore usually nets you a level. It's kind of nice. I don't think any of these are metal-rich rocks down here. Which it really wouldn't make sense to see those on a beach, but you never know. Alright, he turned into a submarine there for a second, didn't he? Yeah, still nothing. I can get the occasional metal out of these, but not much, really. What about you? Yeah, kind of the same. Okay. And away we go. Hey, there's a Dilo. I think that's the Diplodocus tail up there. Or was it? Yeah, Diplodocus or a Bronto tail up there. Hey, Dilo! Wow, 
Wow, okay. So yeah, the Arizona Sword hits for like three times what my, my Parasaur does. Alright, now are any of these looking like they're rich metal? Kind of hard to tell. They're looking very lichen covered though. Actually, this reminds me of home quite a bit right around here too. Uh, I was more of a boreal rainforest. I don't know. I guess would that be a good term? Boreal rainforest is that accurate? Yeah, pretty pretty accurate. There we go. Let's give this guy some more health too. Uh, his main thing is going to be to survive long enough to get away, not fight. I am going to need more metal, though, I think. Well, I made a crossbow. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need more metal. Crossbows take, what, 10 each, I think? All right, and you got a good amount of berries and stuff on you. Awesome. Tucson is still following me, so... 4,800 health, 714% uh, melee, 793 now. Uh, we're gonna put the raw meat bait away. That's like the worst possible, you know, thing you can use, honestly. Well, fish bait really is. All right, so I've got my bodyguard with me. He can keep up, well, better than a Lystra or a Dodo, which is to be expected, honestly. There's not even really any river rocks around here, so it's going to take a while to get enough metal for, for a saddle for this guy. Uh, we're up to four metal. Hooray. I got nine total on me. That's what? Basically four and a half ingots. I need 30 for this guy's saddle. 30 ingots worth. Yeah, it's gonna be. It's gonna take a while. I'm gonna get a lot of stone and flint, though, which is not necessarily a bad thing. And it's only a base metal pick, so. The hatchet was a pretty nice find off that alpha, though. Actually, let's go up, get this stuff cooking, and see how much exactly I need. Yeah, he's keeping up pretty decently here. So. Alright, we're looking. So I've got 10 there, and I've got 8 more coming in. So I'm going to need like 12 more ingots worth. Did I leave any in here? Uh, there's another 7 metal ore there. Mm, there's nothing in there. Okay. Hmm. Okay. You're right where I didn't want you to be. How are you not taking damage from the smithy? If anything else that take, touches it takes damage, except for you. So 11, so 22, okay, so I need, yeah. Eight more ingots, like 16 more little chunks of metal. Yeah, but he just did take damage off it, okay. Right, and none of this is looking metal rich, unfortunately. Ooh, yay, one metal. 15 more to go. Yeah, it's gonna take a while might actually break my pick before this and that's just going to set me back a little bit more oh hey oh start talking native and the game's like all right fine i'll throw you a bone that's art for you rng is the name of the game that and berry picking simulator you know 2015. but used to be a lot worse so we're up to five ingots now actually i just need Oh, what, like seven or more? There's four of it right there, so. Come on. Oh, that's eight right there, I think. Yeah, it's eight and a half, roughly, so. Pretty good, but that will use literally every piece of metal I own, so. I'd like to get a couple more pieces if I could here. Like that. That'll help. 
All right. Let's get back here, get this stuff cooking up so I can make a saddle for this guy. For Tucson. Yeah, no, we should be okay there. And... I'm going to need fiber and hide. Not out of the question, really. Here, tell you what, you stay put for now. I'm not going anywhere, so you don't need to follow me. Yeah, there's a dodo, some carrots, and an egg frozen in this block of ice. Kind of cool. It's little things like that that Eco does that really, really makes a difference. I uh, got the fiber, got the hide. Yeah, I'm just waiting on metal now, which is not really a problem. You even got oil. Tell you what, let's go ahead and drop that into here. Get some gasoline started up. I always forget to make gasoline later in the game, so I have to try to at least keep some around for whenever I get a machine that takes gas. In that right, Tucson. Dude, I should paint you purple, because, yeah. I don't know, actually, especially with the eye. Just like the shape of the eye. It almost looks like a, like a kid's cartoon character. What the hell is that up there? That's a dead beastie of some flavor up there. It's just glitched out and flown way up there. Alright, and you got another level already. Ah, uh, you get 800 health per level, so that's not terrible. Eh, it's still going to be a bit, isn't it? Alright, so 30 metal later. And then pull everything else? Yep. Alright, Tucson. Ready to go out, explore a bit? Kick some butt? There we go, and... Sure, why not? But yeah, um, actually, he's got a pretty good turn of speed to him. So, left click is bite. Right click is a roar, and that's it. That is like literally all he can do. It's just combat. So yeah, this guy is from Additional Creatures 2, and uh, I don't really want to go over... Here, let's uh, let's stick more to the beach, I guess, and go over this way. Because those seal up Isis, if he's they're over there, will probably just rip this guy apart. If they consider him a threat, or well, a meal more than anything else, I think. And that is a dead Bronto. That's a dead Dila right there. There we go. Dead Dodo. Compies. Whoa, okay. I'm not sure exactly what that is, but it might consider Tucson a meal, so we're not... That's what I saw when I first spawned in. I'm like, no. Thousand health. That is an irritator. Yeah, no. That thing, it'll just, uh, it attacks pretty much anything. It doesn't help that that was a high enough level that took out a Bronto. So, yeah, we're going to come up here. We're going to keep an eye on this guy for a bit. Uh, irritators are basically jumped up cranky baryonics. Very, very cranky baryonyx. Alright, so not really seeing much over here. Got some stegos. And got some brontos. Kind of a cool little, little pond here. I like that. Finally feeling better about being able to explore here, and then I run into an irritator. Oh, Elephantosaurus. So basically a trike, but slightly better combat. Oh yes, give me keratin. Alright, so where's this irritator? Oh wow, okay. Is the irritator attacking the Bronto? 
Yep. Did the Irritator just kill the Bronto? Oh, hell yeah, he did. And he is kind of sort of marching off. Now, that thing has a bleed effect, too, whenever it hits. So we got a dead turtle, we got a dead Bronto, and he's ignoring the corpses. Odd. Come on. Do your poo on the run, dude. And there's a Dilo who is just going to ignore me, so... Alright, where's this guy at? Because I don't know if I could take him in a fair fight. Which, if I run into him on the ground, it will be. So either I could snipe him or I could, you know, tame him. There he is. Hey, bombs away. She. She's a level 348. Max level is 360. So we're just going to chuck another one of those down there. This thing's pacing quite a bit, though. And it's a higher level, so I'm not sure if it's going to get hungry before it leaves the radius. I, it might. Okay. Yeah, it's got the, the red smoke coming off the torso, so yeah. It's definitely not safe for me to be down there right now. Oh, it did. Cool. Likes being fed by me. Uh, what is our taming percentage up to now? 24. Okay, so if I can get her up, like, one more feeding, then I can actually get down there. And... Did you seriously just go after the bird? Is that what just happened? I think so. Now here's a question. Are you still within range of that bait? You should be getting hungry any second. And you went after the bird again. Yeah, no. Irritators, they just tend to go after mm, everything. As you can tell, there's a turtle and a bronto. And it didn't even eat the corpse. It just left them. This damn thing. <laughs> this bird. <laughs> this bird just needs to get eaten. Should be, should be hungry again, right? Can I shoot off the back of an Arizona source? No, I cannot. Okay. Oh wait, wait, wait! It's coming in. All right, cool. We're good. All right, well, not attack unless provoked. That is the magical phrase that you always want to see. <laughs> that was hilarious looking, though. All right. Arizona Swords in the air. Yeah, they they have no no dignity or grace, apparently. Oh, got the vertebrae. Hi. Um, yeah, we're good now, right? I can feed you with my hand? Yes, I can. Awesome. Yeah, slightly bulkier baryonyx. It's got a little crest on the forehead. Um, it's got the same wicked hands. Yeah, and whenever it says your tribe, it means all your tame dinos as well, which is kind of cool. And it's going off to go fight something else. Let's see, yeah. All right, let me up. Oh, hey, you're back. Okay. And they, they do tend to hang around after you start feeding them, too. Which is kind of nice. 
When it says it'll follow you, it doesn't mean it's like going to follow you like your dinosaurs do. But they do tend to stay in the same area, and they do like to come back to where you fed them before, which is the key to taming flyers. Because they don't like to stick around, usually. They like to... They like to wander and travel and see the world. And eventually they do come back though when they get hungry and where they know you fed them before, so. This girl, she's about the same way. I do like the colors on her though. Okay, you just saw a Pteranodon, okay. And... Lebronto. Now, there's another way you can gain taming effectiveness as well. Ouch. As well. If I can get in here to help. Ah. Oh, I did not hit the freaking thing. It's grateful for, you know, your help. But also, if you, uh, if you accidentally hit it, then, yeah. You lose effectiveness as well. Which is not great. Try to not let her get beat up too much here. So yeah, trying to help out. Now, if your dino helps out, then and okay, we're still at eighty-three percent. Okay, good. Just want to make sure. Uh, then, for whatever reason, your dinosaur by itself, without you controlling it, can't damage something you're taming. I'm not sure exactly why. Probably because it considers it roughly the same tribe or whatever. But if you're controlling it, then oh well, yeah, all bets are off, and you have to be extremely careful. All right. There we go. Let's go ahead and clean that up so I can see what we're doing. Now I'm going to have to comfort her. Comfort her being pet by you. Now give her some care. May she may protect me in battle now, which is awesome. And she gave me, she gave me some keratin. Nice. And now you're my friend. And now I can roam the beach a little bit more secure. I have to worry about her coming up and just completely destroying me. Uh, actually, let's look at her stats, right? She's level 522 now for one. Uh, 7,900 health, 994 damage, not bad. Uh, what's your weight now? 792. Um, Tucson, what's your weight? 630. And you've actually got some levels from those, uh, from that Bronto. So, all right. Well, let's, uh, actually, let's. Saddles, right? Level 48 for an irritator saddle. So. Can't exactly ride her right now anyway. That did not sound right. Uh, let's go this way. Come on. I, I feel a lot better about riding an irritator around than an Arizona Saurus. Hi. Oh, yeah, I should probably set you to attack my target. There we go. Hi. Kill. Good job. And now I'm just feeding my irritator, so. Um, what do we have for trikes? Now I can start being a little more picky about what I tame at 324. And... A 36. Yeah. See, that's kind of the problem. I don't want the high-level one. Or I don't want the low-level one. I want the high-level one. But if I try to take out the low-level one so I don't have to worry about taming it, then the high-level one's going to come to its defense. All right. You are another female. Actually, that is good because I can start getting eggs. Well, eventually. There you go. Yeah, you were pretty low-level too, so... 
All right, let's go. All right, I'm just going to, you know, sit here for now, I think. Uh, you have another level up. I'm glitched out. Happens sometimes when you hop off a modded creature for some reason. The game just kind of freaks out. It's like, I don't know what to do. There we go. To fix it, just go prone and crawl a little bit, and then everything's fine. And you can quit following me for now as well. Now, one thing I want to point out. Arizona Sword with a saddle on? Has, like, anime teardrops under the eyes. That's actually the bit from the saddle, and it is nowhere near where it needs to be. Because they basically shrunk a spino saddle. And for the most part, it fits up until you get to where the straps actually go into the back of the head. And, yeah. It's not exactly the greatest thing ever. I'm just, just saying. You guys are leveling up awesomely. So I've got two female Lystras now, which means I've got a bit of an early start on my egg farm. And let's go ahead and see what this uh, snowball emote. Oh, hell yeah. I want an emote. Consume this permanently, unlock it. Okay, well, but do I already have the emote then? Winter Wonderland, snowball. Okay. Throw a snowball. All right, cool. I guess I did. Or done that in the past or whatever. I don't usually use emotes, so it's not something I think about. Can I make the conclave tent? I need a bunch of fiber and stone. All right, I don't have anything that collect either of that. Why can't you collect stuff for me here? And I'm uh, going to go amber berries, say 100 for now. Pull. There you go. Now you have some food. You have a little bit of health while you're at it. And but yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. Uh, next time, we're going to go out, probably on Tucson there, and uh, explore the immediate area a bit more. Feeling a little more comfortable with Tucson. And it does pretty decent damage, honestly, so that does help. But uh, with... Uh, a little more confident about maybe taking other things on around here in case I get attacked. It is only a mid-sized carnivore, which is a bit of a problem. Uh, let's put that in there for now, too. So, you know, things can get cranky with it. And here, let's go ahead and get the cooked stuff into here, too, so it doesn't rot. Oh, it's actually full. Here, that can go on the ground. There. And we'll take that out for now, I think. And we'll put some of this in over here to cook. I did not put... I didn't have room for the... Uh, for the cooked prime to go in, did I? Well, I don't need to put plant species Y seeds in there. And I have no idea what gave me the plant species Y seeds, by the way. It's just... it's a thing. That I now have, so... But, thank you for coming out. I hope you've enjoyed this episode, and until the next one... Sign signing out. Have fun.